Hello everyone, and welcome to this month's bullet journal video. As you can see, the setup is a little bit different. Um, I don't know why I do the wiggly thing, as I actually hate seeing that. But I instinctively do it, to sort of like say, hey, I'm here. <laughs> um, but yeah, this setup's different. It's obviously Halloween themed, because it is indeed October. Um, this video is a little bit late from when I originally said it was going to be posted but I've had a little bit of fun with the editing and working out how to do the little tricks and things. So it's taking me a little bit longer than expected to edit, but here it is. So yeah, um, let me just give you a little bit of an idea of what the setup is. Um, these are these little ghosty things, tea light, well, candle holders. These are actually from Yankee Candle. Um, I just went in there to get some normal candles and saw these and I thought they would be a really nice um, addition to my setup. Um, the orange candle is a trick-or-treat scent and then the purple candle is a hayride scent and I wish, this is one of the times I wish that we had um, smell o vision because then you could, <laughs> you could smell how nice they are. Um, this one's really sweet, and then this one's sort of like a uh, outdoorsy, but not like alpine outdoorsy, outdoorsy, like um, a really natural sort of scent, and the two mix really well together. Then these are these little pumpkin light things that I actually found at my local co-op store, oddly enough. Last place I'd look for Halloween decorations, but I just really like these because they're not too cutesy, um, which... Some Halloween things I like cutesy, but other stuff I prefer it to be scary and gory in a way. Um, then these two pins are actually from the... Uh, will you focus? Yeah, these are actually from the Disney Wisdom Collection. And these are the August, not August, September um, pins. Um, and this is the Mer Merlin from um, Sword in the Stone and then the other one is it's a character from the Sword in the Stone but I've forgotten um, her name I think she's the villain I think well sort of the villainess but yeah um, I just thought they were a nice little addition then of course we've got some cobwebs and some little spiders so yeah I just thought it'd be nice to change up the setup um, I'm gonna get cobwebs everywhere I know I am let's dive right in here's the cover page and my usual symbol slash floor plan that I like to do um, clearly Halloween themed but this architecture month is architectural theme I should say is gothic how could I not do gothic for Halloween in October? The sort of spooky vibes. Um, this is a floor plan from the Salisbury Cathedral in the UK. Um, this is a front elevation of the one of the gothic cathedrals in Germany, in Frankfurt. I've forgotten the name of it, I'll put it on screen. Um, but then I went with this green sort of moon in the background with some bats and of course a witch. We've got to have a little bit of cutesy. And then the cobweb October theme. I really like this. Um, delving away from my usual sort of just black and white. But when I say usual, I've done one spread in black and white. But it, it just adds a little bit of colour, which we have to. October is a special month, it's Halloween month, you know, it's for me it's the official month of autumn, whereas September is sort of like just chilling down from the summer and it's not quite autumn enough, whereas October is like, for me, officially October. Um, so yeah. Um, I'm not going to like do a time lapse of, of how I did this because I actually did majority of this on a train journey so I didn't film it because that's usually what I tend to do with my bullet journals is I actually do them when I have time to do them rather than sit down and do a day of planning and 
doing it that way because I find that too constricting sometimes as well. So it's better for me to just go, oh, I have this idea, let's get it down on paper. So I'll start inking it in things wherever I am. Um, so yeah, there won't be no time lapse of how I did the cover and things. But for the uh, next page, I will do a time lapse. Um, this is my don't quit, um, don't quit page, which is my master to do list and different events and things. Um, so yeah, cue the time lapse. So as you can see, this is my final spread up for the Don't Quit page. Um, the calendar looks a little bit messy and bunched up because of the big squares. They're like five millimeter squares on the Archer and Olive. But when I left, but when I did it last month, they were huge when I left a square between them. So unless I make some stickers, which I might do, um, and then stick them on, um, sort of make better spacing of the, the dot squares. Um, so that's just using side by side and then that's with a gap, but it takes up so much space and I was starting to run out of um, space for things. So I'm hoping this month it's gonna make it a bit easier. So after my master to-do list on the Don't Quit pages, um, we then get into my weekly setups. Um, for, for the other weekly spreads I've already done, but I left this one to do as a, a time lapse. Um, so again, cue the time lapse. So for my weekly layouts, I have got my little inspiration box as per usual of somebody else's work to sort of inspire me to do my work. And then a little box for notes for what I need to do the following week for when tasks and projects roll over into the next week. And then my, I have my weekly objective to sort of condense the uh, master to-do list down into what I will be focusing on in that week. Then I have these individual boxes for each day of the week, except for the weekend where um, I split it, uh, have one box for two days, because I usually like to have a day off. So 
Sometimes tasks do do roll into my day off day, but they're usually only little things. And then the design is of a section of an interior of one of the many Gothic cathedrals. This one is from the transitional period from Romanesque into Gothic. So you can see from last month, you know, you've got these very curvy and sort of very decorative straight columns. Um, I don't know, did I do? Yeah, so you've got the curved arches in the columns, but very much on a grid layout, similar to the um, thing, and then a few curves um, for different elements. Whereas in the transitional period, you can start and see more geometrical forms forming, as well as pointy arches, but still very simple, as opposed to the more decorative Gothic that you, you'll see in the next few pages. So this is the weekly layout for week, um, and then week 41 um, is the early English Lancet. Um, so you can see more of the traditional Gothic sort of elements coming in and the domed roofs and just more detail even though it's still very geometrical um, but you're starting to see the more decorative compared to the, the the time before and then the layout's pretty much the same except for I've added some cobwebs which I might do on that one anyway just for the hell of it um, and so that's week 41 and then week 42 again is it's becoming more geometric and more decorative and more windows and these um, traditional sort of tracery root, um, elements, which is what they typically call tracery. So again, let's see if I can do all three. You can see, ooh, <laughs> is it working all three of them side by side. So we're getting more and more um, decorative. Um, again, the weekly layout is pretty much stay, stayed the same, and that's week 42. Week 43 is Cavillinia. I need to pronounce that right. I'll put it on the screen anyway, just to make sure that I've got everything spelling. But you can see it's becoming even more decorative and more refined. And again, still geometrical, all architecture in one form or another is geometric most architecture <laughs> as soon as i said it something sprung to mind that it just goes against the grain so again you can see but the windows are getting wider as well in some elements um and then just a typical layout um there's five weeks this october the five yeah um so we did another five and then this is the rec rectilinear like <sighs> one day i will learn how to speak english at least one language but again it's more of these huge long arches and more win triple layer windows but still highly decorative so let's see if i can get the last three in a row so you can sort of see the difference so everyone associates gothic i'd say pretty much more with this sort of type and then with the traceries so i'd say these three are definitely in the gothic era Possibly that one as well, but you still can see the simplicity of it. Um, and definitely that was the traditional period. So I thought it was quite nice to have all those and for me to explore Gothic because I never realised it was... I thought it was just that. I didn't realise that they'd sort of developed over time. I thought they just literally just gone, Oh, we'll throw lots of decorations and make it very geometric. I didn't realise that they'd, you know gone through a period of it slowly changing well not slowly it, it did it pretty quick actually um yeah so this is the week weekly layout for week 44 and then there i have one more layout just for halloween and just because it is halloween um i don't really uh, as i've got older i don't really do much like i used to do trick-or-treating when i was little of course and then maybe towards the teens gotta get your sugar highs um but as I've got older, it's more become about movies in the horror genre and sort of the gothic element to things. So this Halloween, I'm actually hoping to take a trip to actually go and see Dracula. 
and I don't mean the movie. <laughs> dun dun dun. Um, if I go ahead and take that trip, I will um, record as much as I can and make a video about that. Um, and try and get it out as quick as possible so it is somewhat towards Halloween but it'll probably be like the first weekend of November um, because I think the trip's going to be like the 30th to the 31st and the 1st so yeah I'll, I'll keep you posted about that one but yeah back to the layouts and the final layout is this one which is what is well it's a famous quote from a famous movie and I'm not going to tell you which one, I'm going to see if everyone can guess, so please in the comments tell me below that your guesstimates of what this quote is from, which is, what's your favourite scary movie? Um, and then I've done like a, a, a circular calendar, I should go the right way, not the wrong way around. Um, and then each, I'm going to try and watch one scary movie. Well, not just scary, but spooky as well, like Hocus Pocus, that's spooky, it's not scary. Even as a kid it wasn't scary, but it was spooky. Um, and then write in the different one. Um, for the movies that I've seen like thousands of times, I'll have it on in the background in the studio because I don't think I'll have time to literally sit down and watch a movie every day. Maybe I will, I don't know. I've got <laughs> we'll shall see. Um, and then I've just got some movie posters here of different ones that definitely will be, I will be watching like the Ring series, the Scream series, the Candyman series. I've already been to see It Chapter 2 which I loved. Um, it one I liked and I thought it was fantastic from reading the books. I'd never seen the miniseries so I can't compare it to another sort of media other than the book. Um, and I liked it chapter one, I thought it was fantastic. And the guy, uh, Bill Skarsgård, I know you spell it very, uh, pen should pronounce it very Swedish, but I'm not Swedish, I can't do that. Um, but he's fantastic as Pennywise. I don't find him scary though, this is the annoying thing. I actually find Pennywise sort of like this cute kid that just wants to have a group of friends, but I suppose that's the lore of how he gets the kids in and kills them. So, <laughs> well, fe feeds off them. Um, so yeah, I saw chapter two, it's very, very good. I didn't realize, everyone was like, oh, it was so long. And I'm like, I didn't realize that it was that long because I was really enjoying it. Um, and I like the fact that they sort of take the Mickey out of the first film as well with it. So it would, I found the second one to be quite funny in a way. But for me, I wouldn't actually consider the sort of it genre as a horror movie. I mean, it's got twisted elements to it, don't get me wrong, but it, for me it's more dramatic even about following this story of the kids. Um, so yeah, I really love that. But again, I digress, I'm rambling. Um, the Health Hitchcock's The Birds, I've seen that once and it so far is the only horror movie that when I think back to it, even now when I'm just thinking about it, it scares me. So I'm going to sort of torture myself and watch it again and see if I can actually watch the entire thing. Um, the Grudge in a cheesy 90s, I love the 90s sort of cheesy sort of teen stuff because it's, it's when I used to stay up late to watch and when I wasn't allowed to and watch like Urban Legend. Um, but yeah, these were all caught on the the web that I've created with the spider in the middle and then the image in the background is actually from last Halloween I went with for Halloween um, I went to Kirkstall Abbey in Leeds where they were showing Hocus Pocus and they were also showing it as well but we we decided to go for the um, Hocus Pocus why did we go for Hocus Ah, uh, because of the days they were showing them on different days so it was just better for us to go and see Hocus Pocus. And the way they had the Abbey lit up was fantastic. Um, and they even had actors that were t portraying the Sanderson sisters and they were really good as well. So yeah, that's a little memory from last year as well. Um, and then it's just my architecting going on in, into my sketchbook that I'll do. Wow, that's actually gone into the pages. What on earth? Something's cut. 
Anyway, as long as it's not falling out. Although the threads are starting to come undone, I've noticed that with the olive and arches. Um, so I've stuck a little bit of magic tape up there to sort of hold it in, and hopefully the pages won't come out. So yeah, that is my layout for this month. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. And the new layout. Well, not new layout, it's just for Halloween. Um, and I... In fact, let's... Ah, I need to do a final flip through. That might be an idea. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so... So here's the uh, final flip through for October's bullet journal. The cover page and the symbol page that I like to do because I don't like leaving it a blank page and I don't like doing a double spread because it looks too messy. So I like to just keep that simple and then do something crazy on that side. Or more fulfilling on that side I should say. Then I've got the master to do's which I will write down here for the month. Uh, my usual do it, don't quit page. Then my week 40 spread. Week 41. Week 42. Week 43. Week 44. And then my little Halloween spread for the movies. Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'm hoped to, hope to see you guys next month and see what I do next month. Um, not sure when it will be, so I won't write it down this month, but it'll definitely be before December. Wow, that sounds like such a long, 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 long way away. Um, I, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, let me know down below if you do ref um, remember or know where this quote is from. And also just let me know what you guys are doing for Halloween. I mean, it'll give me ideas for next year. Um, so yeah, I'd, I'd, look, I'd look forward to hearing from you guys. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys next month. And in the meantime, happy architecting.